it was a really challenging year, but we really believe it was the year that as a group, we really stepped up. And you're absolutely right. We, we did receive, achieve all three of the targets that we put out um, to the market, along with what we believe was a resilient, a resilient performance. You know, it's disappointing to deliver a, a loss, obviously, but when you look at the operating profit pre-impairments, we were up 4%. And that, I think, in this environment was a really good outcome. Well, one thing that investors are going to be looking at very closely is that impairment number, £3.2 billion pounds for the year, quite a substantial figure. Can you give us some more guidance on how this number got so big and what clarity you have uh, over how it could look like in future years as well? Yes, yeah, so £3.2 billion pounds, it is a substantial number. You know, you and your, your, your listeners will be um, familiar with IFRS 9, the accounting standard we use, it's very forward looking. And what we've actually seen in our books this year is we've had no um, tall trees in terms of individual losses. So the great bulk of this impairment charge is actually for losses that we anticipate. It came in slightly below our guidance, and that's as a result of two different dynamics going on. One, I think the continuing um, support that we're getting from the government. And secondly, the um, continuing um, level of just cash that people are holding in, in their their accounts as they as they move forward. People are taking care of their finances where they can. Is it fair to assume that we can expect credit losses to pick up once once schemes such as the furlough scheme end later this year? I think that's certainly our anticipation. And within that 3.2 billion number, we've made a, a provision for losses that we can't see in the books, but we know that they must be there. So what you need to remember is as those losses pick up, this provision is there to deal with it. So we would expect next year that there's been a there would be a significant drop down in the level of provisions that we would be booking because we'd be using some of this already to pay for some of those those upticks. And much of the government lending programs have actually been channeled through NatWest. I see for the year about 14 billion pounds have gone through the bank. What has that done to your overall margins? So when you you look at that, I think first of all what we would say is we were really pleased with the speed at which we got the, that lending out. It was really important for us to get out to the customers. They, it is on a lower margin uh, product, but they're still um, they're still positive margins, still positive for our ROTE basis um, in terms of that. So good business to be writing, and I think what will be interesting is how it unwinds over the next the next up to a decade as some of those loans work their way through the system.